the imbalances that are, that, are, that are being built up in the world, particularly the westernized economies, are maybe something akin to a, maybe a fault line. You know, if you know of earthquakes, that a tension will build up on that fault line for only so long to the point that it just rips. Um, the tension that's building up on a global basis is the, the, the mass and the size of the global debt, and in particularly the global debt of the United States. The breaking point is, is kind of where we are right now. They're, they're, we're at a point in time right now where there simply isn't enough demand to absorb all the funding needs of the U.S. economy, nor of the Western economies. And that's why QE2 exists. We're basically uh, uh, buying our own, our own paper. We talked about it this morning that, that, uh, that uh, a store, cashier number one, sells, uh, sells a, uh, a can of beer to cashier number two. And somehow this is recorded as a sale, but there's no sale that's taken place. In the United States, we might want to vilify China. We might want to vilify Asia or say that, that, that or, or bash the Chinese or bash Asia or Vietnam or Bangladesh or India. But um, it's really just economics. I mean, the cost of production, the cost of simply producing something in the United States is so disproportionately high that the finished item is simp it's not competitive, which, give, which gives the United States virtually no means to ever repay the debt that it's accumulated, because the only, the only way that we could repay the debt would be how? To export our way out of it. And so what do you do? Either you have a global war, where we sell weapons into that global war, or we actually start producing things. Or what you have is a, is a crisis that we lay out in the book, and we lay it out in a 14-day timeline where, the, where, the, where China stops buying U.S. debt, and in a series of steps that happens over 14 days, all hell breaks loose across the world with a meeting of the IMF and a, and a decision to reset all global westernized debt in one fell swoop. And that the only solution, and this we lay out in the book the day after the dollar crashes, that the only solution is a realignment of global currencies and a new currency. <laughs> Well, in the book, we lay it out that it's, it's China basically saying no to the buying of U.S. debt. But I think, I think without, an actu without an actual official announcement, I think we're already there. Uh, we've seen China make announcements with Russia that they're going to start using other, currenc other currencies, their own currencies, to start to facilitating trade. That's a huge announcement. I mean, I think if we, if we really look at it, you know, when do you call, when is a company bankrupt? A company is bankrupt when, what, there are no more customers, when uh, they're no longer selling goods, when they're like really no longer profitable. We're long since past that. The United States is functionally bankrupt right now. Well, you, you, um, I think you want to watch the dollar. You want to watch the dollar against a basket of currencies. Um, if, we get a, if we get a break in the dollar, uh, below a certain price, and we're watching what that price is, uh, we will move aggressively as an investment firm, because I also run Nine Points Capital Partners. Uh, I, uh, I will move aggressively from an investment manager's standpoint to start placing assets to benefit from a dollar's meltdown. Okay. Well, um, you, can either, you can either find ways to short the dollar or hedge with, uh, with maybe options or, or that might leverage yourself against the dollar. We might, get, uh, we might build that up with being long currencies that had more resources. Um, they might be the Aussie dollar. They might be the Swiss franc. They might be the, the loonie. Uh, my, the central message of my book is, is to... Uh, embrace, embrace may, may we live to see a day where the world is united in peace and harmony, where we may see each other through our hearts and not our eyes. <laughs>